Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will be installing Ubuntu, that is Windows Ubuntu operating system. In my previous video, you have seen that we have installed uh, Linux FX Red Sand, which is a Linux based operating system. And in this video, we will be installing Ubuntu Plasma that is uh, based on Windows 11 theme and it is also a Linux based operating system but they have made it look like uh, Windows. We will initiate the download of our ISO file. So click on download. And it is a free operating system, but uh, if you want to use more features, you will have to purchase their key. So we will click on Windows Ubuntu uh, with Copilot and a file will start getting downloaded. So it will take some time. Let the download complete. Then we will install this operating system on a virtual machine. So if you want to read more about this operating system, uh, you can visit their website. That is Ubuntu.org. I have mentioned in my previous video also, there will be total three videos based on these operating systems. One is already uploaded on my channel. You can get the link in the description and you can watch how you can install this Linux FX Red Sand. So we will wait till our file gets downloaded and then we will install it on a virtual machine. Okay, our ISO file has been downloaded. Now we will create a virtual machine. So we will open VMware workstation software. Now click on create a new virtual machine. We'll select typical that is recommended click next click next again uh, the third option should be selected that is I will start the operating system later here you can select Microsoft Windows Windows 10 and later that is 64 bit and then click next now you can name it I'll name it Windows 11 Ubuntu and click next I will leave 60 GB hard drive space and select the second option split virtual disk into multiple files and click next now here click on customize hardware and I will just increase the RAM to 4 GB and processors I will make number of cores per processor 2 and click on the CD DVD drive here we will select the ISO image which we have downloaded so just locate your file click on browse my file is in download folder so I will go to downloads and that is the file that is Windows Ubuntu that is Windows 11 theme and now you can click on close and click finish here. So our virtual machine is ready. Now we will power it on. So it will boot from that ISO image and it will install a new Ubuntu operating system on VMware. So I have clicked on power it on. Select Windows 11 Ubuntu and press enter. Okay, so on this screen, you will have to click on install system.
and now select your language so American English is okay for me I will click on next my region is selected already so I will click next keyboard layout is English US click next leave everything like that and just select the first option erase disk because there is nothing in the disk so we'll click next now just fill in the details type your name I'll just type TT and create a password retype the password now click on install so the installation has started it will take some more time so let's wait till it completes Uh, there's some problem we need to restart so I'll just click on restart application so our operating system got installed I'll just right click and change the display and here we will select 1920 by 1080 pixel click apply and then just click keep and OK. So this is our Ubuntu operating system, which is a Linux based operating system, but it looks like Windows 11. And you can also install a Windows application, I mean EXE files. It also has a new Microsoft Copilot that is Microsoft AI assistant so I'll just close this so everything here looks like uh, Windows 11 you will not come to know you are using a Linux operating system until unless you click something or you just right click if you right click you will see the context menu which is not like Windows 11 and we also get Microsoft Edge which is a default browser of Windows so we'll open it and we'll try to install Google Chrome I'll just cancel this So we'll look for Google Chrome. And we will download it now. We'll select the first one. That is 64-bit for Ubuntu. Accept and install. So this is how installation works in Ubuntu operating system. So now you can feel the difference. You are working on Ubuntu, but it looks like Windows. Click on close. It says it is done now. We will click on start. 
we'll look for chrome and we have google chrome installed i'll just click ok so we have successfully installed google chrome in an operating system which is actually ubuntu but looks like windows i'll close this and that's all i wanted to show you in this video please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel you have a great day bye bye